And we are live. You know what? I want to thank you guys for being in the comments already. You know, so there he is, Rich Graham. Rich, I got to have you come over and hang out with me. And uh, I missed, missed talking. So here you go. She was actually on first. Uh, and thank you for being there. And, of course, he's saying hello. <laughs> <laughs> Alex Johnson is here with us today, and uh, I haven't even started the countdown. Let me get this countdown going. Where did I throw this to? I was over here playing, and apparently I took down all of my windows. But Alex, we just too busy chatting. Yeah, we just <laughs> chatted up. We just chatted That's up. It. So Jay <laughs> is here. So hello to you. Let me go ahead and throw this up as well. I really have... Uh, just moved around all of my um what you call that scenes so let's see if we can pull this back up i should have the music B2B playing count. and a countdown <laughs> but you know what my countdown is just really a um what you want to say is something we put up there Alec, just to uh give people something to do uh to see that we are in a countdown but i like to start the show talking so that being said why worry about the numbers i have you on stage i have Jaden. i have the talking have rich and everybody else is going to be coming on make sure as you come along hang out with us that you cl click the like button it almost came out the the right way. So Andrew Moon <laughs> is hanging out with us. He said, my two favorite dudes right here. Thank you for saying that. Thank you for hanging out. We got a great show today. Before I start, you're actually I'm almost 12 hours away from me time-wise? Yeah, something like that. So it's 7 a.m. Uh, tomorrow <laughs> for me here. Tomorrow, in, uh, in so Thailand. you're on yeah. Monday. It's Monday morning, and I'm raring to go, yeah. <laughs> wow, wow. Have you had your coffee already? Are you a coffee drinker? Oh, I've had about three. This is my yeah, this is my third right here. So there you <laughs> I'm go. good. <laughs> and it's in the Ecamm Live Cup. Like, why not? Kimberly, oh, good to see I you here today. Oh, you have a, I do too. It's back on that back yeah. wall. I don't know if people can see it, but I'm actually pointing to it. Both of those. One is the uh Leap in the Live or Live mm -hmm. Happens Cup. So mm -hmm. I'm so excited to have you on. But that being said, what takes you around the world to Thailand? Like, why is that a destination for you living? Uh, well, so I came here on a, uh, a diving holiday 16 years ago and um, yeah, stayed for a, a month and then realized I could I could pretty much do what I was doing in the UK from over here because I was still kind of doing that on and off whilst I was over here for that month. So uh, pretty much sort of went home and uh, made plans and was six weeks later, I was back here <laughs> and then I, I've stayed for 10 years without even visiting the UK again. So I just, all my uh, sort of friends and family were happy to visit over here. Um, and yeah, 16 years later, I'm, uh, I'm just loving it. It's a lovely, lovely place. 16 years after one mm -hmm. visit, like how is it to, like you guys across the pond would say, well, I'm just on holiday. Or yeah, yeah. We, we call it vacation. You guys call it holiday. So how is it living in holiday all the time? Yeah, well, it's, it's, it's wonderful. Wonderful people, wonderful food, wonderful, wonderful weather, especially coming from the UK. You know, it's uh, <laughs> in the US, you've got options as to places you can go for, right. you know, the hot weather, the winter weather, all that kind of stuff. Whereas in the UK, it's pretty much, you know, uh, uh, one thing most of the year. <laughs> and then we get a few days of summer. So I just love it over here. It's just much better climate for me. And uh, as I say, food and people are wonderful. Great sense of community over here as well. That's awesome. And then you say community. Man, I have someone coming to our show for the second time. Miss Hill is here. She says hello, everyone. And then I have Kath that come through saying hello, hello, hello to everybody that's watching today. Again, click the like button. If, well, let's do it like this, Alec. If they hear something that they really like, because <laughs> we're going to talk about something that's going to help everybody monetize what they're doing, just click the like button. That would really help us. So, but only do it once, right? <laughs> if you do it twice, you're undoing the like. It. I just want one <laughs> like from you, all right? Um, so... You went over there for holiday, decided to stay, and kind mm -hmm. of made a home 16 years later. How did you get into creating content? 
Uh, so that was, uh, I suppose, um, two years ago was when I started having the idea about creating a YouTube channel because, uh, and it was really to probably, probably a little bit less than that, actually, uh, for one of my businesses, I was creating a course essentially. Um, and so I was doing it the long, slow, laborious way, which is filming and editing. Uh, mm -hmm. and I was the on screen, uh, I won't use the word talent, but I was, I was the one sort of delivering the content uh, and also the editor. And I was not really great at both in terms of if I knew that I could edit, I would constantly be taking multiple takes right. uh, to try to get the, the perfect take um, and then in the edit that would just give me a whole worse job then of having to sort of stitch it all together and so I was looking for a different way of doing it and wanted to just do it all in one take because I've got public speaking experience so I've got no trouble sort of standing on a stage and delivering something and I don't have to have multiple takes at that so I thought surely I can just do the same on camera um, and that is why I uh, sort of came around to this whole sort of whole one take approach and discovered Ecamm. I went down the OBS route obviously as most people do uh, right. and then finally uh, was delighted to discover Ecamm <laughs> because it works the way my brain works. Um, and so that's that was how I came around to using Ecamm. Uh, and then I wanted a way to sort of practice this process of just making videos in one take. Uh, and so that's when I set up my YouTube channel in May of last year, uh, Take One Tech, which is all uh, tutorial style videos, but done in one take with no edits as a sort of a test bed really for me to practice these kind of things. But then over the past 18 months or so, uh, this has just sort of developed into its own business, essentially. So uh, it's a very- 18 uh, months that it's developed. How long mm -hmm. have you been doing it? Uh, well, since, since May of last year. So May of 21 was when I started the YouTube channel. And uh, yeah, it's just sort of grown it's since then. And exploding, exploding. Like if you guys got hand emojis, you can put it in the comments. Please do that. <laughs> That's amazing. In 18 months that you have been able to develop um, I guess a content creator journey for yourself with a mm -hmm. YouTube channel and then being able to do all these tutorials. Of course, today we're talking about how to record your course with Ecamm Live. And we're going to get into that, but I want to establish um, Alec here as a course creator. All right, so that's the first thing we we'll want to do is for everybody, uh, Tech Troublemaker says, hello, everyone. Thank you for being here. And Miss Hills already said, I've smashed the like button on the way in. Thank you for doing <laughs> that. And uh, she says that you are awesome, which I know you are. That's oh, the thank you very much. Uh, for So people are <laughs> responding. And greetings to everyone. I'm, they're coming in so fast. I've missed them. Greetings, everyone. Time change. <laughs> yes, we did have the time to change here in the states so we actually fell back an hour which means that we gained an hour i don't know if you guys do in thailand if they time change the time or not it's the same all year round here because we're pretty sort of in the tropics so uh, yeah no need to save any daylight it's just light and dark at the same time every day <laughs> how close to the equator is that it's got to be pretty close right yeah yeah i'm not sure of the exact parallel but it's, it's certainly in the tropics so in the sort of middle middle band there gotcha. so. And I'm asking you to do uh, geography. I don't know either, but uh, everybody's agreeing about how awesome you are. Alec, <laughs> you know, the, the checks are all in the post. <laughs> <laughs> so he's going to definitely get you your check out. That being said, <laughs> just let's jump into it. So we have a great software for Mac. So shouts out to all the Mac users. We, you know, we're slightly different in our makeup. That's mm -hmm. why we use Apple products. I mean, from the watches to the iPads, like we spend a ton of money on Apple products because we like the way they work. Ecamm mm -hmm. is a Mac only software where you could do broadcasting online, which I absolutely love how it's set up. You can have it to where it looks more like a broadcast with a preview and a published page, or you can just go with one page, which a lot of us like the one man show kind of way we would run it. That being said, you found Ecamm and it allowed you to start recording uh, like to tape or going live and using that live as an opportunity to do your tutorials with it. Am I right in saying that? Uh, that's correct. Yeah. So I bought it as intending it to just be the for the recording side of it to record these uh, these tutorials, because a lot of the the things that I was doing before would be, um, you know, like sort of using slides and having me as part of the slide. So not just sort of off to the side talking to slides, but, you know, being sort of immersed in them, creating these sort of immersive 
um, learning experiences. Um, and so, uh, so yeah, that's what I originally got into Ecamm for. And then, you know, this sort of live streaming has come as uh, an, ad an addition to that and to help with the growth of the channel as well and get to build a whole sort of community uh, around it. Um, but yeah, certainly it was the, uh, it was the pre-recorded stuff that I was focused on initially. Gotcha. And that actually has worked for you as you are building your courses. As a content creator, when you decided to do courses, what was the thought behind it? Uh, it's on my, on my channel. Originally, it was going to be all about focused on the tools that I use in my business from a tech perspective. So the automation tools and things like that. But once I actually started using Ecamm and Stream Deck, um, they became my favorite tools and the things that I ended up making most videos about. So it was a kind of an accident almost that the Take One Tech channel had such a huge focus on Ecamm and Stream Deck. It's just that those were the things that I was most enthusiastic about and still continue to be. Um, so I've made over 130 videos, I think, of, um, of Ecamm stuff just on my YouTube channel. But the problem with that is that um, you never really know with YouTube whether stuff is out of date or in date. You can see when the video was posted. Mm -hmm. um, but for example, there's uh, one the the longest video I did on my channel was a four and a half hour start to finish get up and running with uh, Ecamm. So it was you know taking you through from the beginning right through to the Time end out. of how to set everything up. Alec, you, you're talking so fast, man. I, I got to get all this out to the people. Number one, you said you made a hundred plus videos about Ecamm. Am I right uh -huh. in saying that? Yeah, that on, on, on my YouTube, YouTube channel. On, on your YouTube channel. So you've already done that on a YouTube channel, and then yep. you did a four and a half hour. Was it live? It, it wasn't wasn't live, but it was it was a one take thing. So I just said, right, if you're new to Ecamm, because what I always find is when you're trying to find bits of information, it's it's fine having all these short little snippets of information on on YouTube about stuff. But if you actually really want to like learn something from start to finish, you never know where the gaps in your knowledge are. If you just go and say, oh, there's a video on Ecamm about scenes, for example, or there's one about overlays. How do you know if you've actually covered off all the different things that you need to know? And so I wanted to make a start to finish end to end tutorial. Um, and so I did that in, <laughs> it was a bit of a long one, like four and a half hours, at one take. So I needed to stretch my legs after that, but um, it took people from the beginning to, you know, the end of everything they needed to know. But the thing about that was, it was at the time when we used to have to make overlays like you've got now on this, uh, this show, uh -huh. we used to have to make those in uh, something like Keynote or Photoshop and cut out the little holes. Right. Um, so that was the method that I taught in that video. Now that video is still live, it's on my channel. And so technically, if somebody goes and watches that four and a half hour video, um, there's some misinformation in it, because now we can just do all of this with the new versions of Ecamm that have come out since then, right. we can do it with camera overlays. Um, and so my thing is that um, the information on YouTube is great, but it lacks organization, and it lacks anything to verify, you know, whether it is the latest version or not, or whether the information is actually accurate. Uh, and so I wanted to be able to create for Ecamm. So I created the Ecamm Live Masterclass. Um, that one is basically intended to be like an online resource that you always know if there's something you want to know, you'll be able to go into there and find, you know, whatever it is you're looking to do, and it will be relevant to the latest version of Ecamm. It won't be outdated. Um, so that was my thought process behind that was giving people that sort of organization of all of the, uh, the, the course content, essentially. Man, that is outstanding. So first of all, for everybody that's watching today, when, if you are a content creator, there's a couple of things that you want to figure out about your content. Okay. A lot of people have this already figured out. My man, who is it? Todd. Uh, yeah, Ty Christmas chat. Like he already has that figured out is in his title. He's going to be talking about Christmas and so very good. Glad that you're here with us today. But for all of the rest of us, you want to be able to do three things. You want to be able to talk about something that you're knowledgeable about. All right. So that's one thing you want to be knowledgeable about. Uh, whatever it is you talk about, you want to like whatever it is that you're talking about. We talk about Ecamm. We love Ecamm. All right. So it's <laughs> easy to talk about Ecamm because we love it. So you're knowledgeable, you like it. And then the third one is you are beginning to meet a need. So many mm -hmm. people are coming onto the platforms, want to do YouTube channels, want to stream, want to be content creators, but they don't know all of the things to do. So what Alec did was actually build a course to meet a particular need. 
All right. I want to I want to stop with that because a lot of times we want to do trainings and tutorials that we want to do. All right. Mm -hmm. And it may not be fulfilling a need. All right. So people tell you all the time, there's so many different apps out there. You can just go into YouTube and look or Google um, what may be trending or what questions people are asking and find find out if there is a need for the knowledge that you have in a way. Yep. Or can you share the knowledge that you have that you really like to talk about in a way that meets a need? And Alec has mm -hmm. done that. And I wanted to make a point of that, Alec, before we went any further, because we do have some some things that we're going to talk about and um yeah kimberly was like yes yeah, slow it down so i did but we do have a question and michael actually did it the right way he's got a uh, cute colon i tried using ecamm to record youtube videos but i found that the quality picture and resolutions uh suffers a bit has it been your experience? And with ecamm you know you're actually able to uh, i'll put you like this you're able to get 4K resolution on what you do, up to 4K resolution. You want to be sure that you are checking your camera, the connection that you have, whether it's USB or you're going in with a, a capture card to get the best resolution. You want to look at your camera. You want to look at your um, the lens that you're using with that camera. You want to test it without Ecamm. So if you want to go straight into your camera, just go straight into your camera and then test it against Ecamm and see how much of a difference it is. Now, again, you're running through your computer. You have overlays. You have tons of other things that are going into making that uh, quality picture. But I found personally, and Alex, I'll ask you, that uh, the picture I get, as an end product in Ecamm is phenomenal. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, Alex, what's, what's been your response or your experience? Yeah, I've, I've had uh, no no issue with that. I think there's a few people also in the chat who have just sort of uh, commented about this as well. There is a number of different reasons why you might not be getting what you're expecting out of your, uh, your, your camera because you do obviously also have the camera effects window in Ecamm. So there may be some things that are there that could throw off what you're natively getting out of the camera. Uh, you can use those to your benefit to improve the image, but then on the other hand, it can work the other way if you've got some settings uh, not set correctly. The other one I'd say is if you are, have you got a 4K camera, um, but then in Ecamm under the options menu, the um, uh, stream size is set to like low resolution uh, at, four f at 540. That's going to be the resolution of the recording. So that could potentially be something else. But um, yeah, I think uh, what the people in the chat have said about actually go live into the Ecamm community and ask for feedback. And, uh, you know, if there's something that's wrong or that's, you know, not as you're expecting, the Ecamm community in, in Facebook is a great place to just go live and ask for that feedback. And there'll always be people there willing to, you know, jump in and recommend, you know, things that you might be able to change if it's not quite what you're expecting to get out of it. But uh, short answer to the question is no, I found Ecamm to be exceptional. And it's, it's only improved what I'm outputting rather than had, a, had any detrimental effect to it. And there you go. Even Doc is kind of chiming in, Alec, about uh, Michael's question. Uh, we all use Ecamp all the time, and uh, it has been phenomenal. Uh, you can practice going live uh, to the Ecamp channel, and people there can help you real time. That is a excellent, excellent piece of advice because that's what we do, uh, whether it's <laughs> in the um, – um, the Ecamm community tab, or even if you're using beta and you wanted to uh, use beta, you can do that again. Um, don't say too loud what uh, <laughs> what camera you're using, because uh, if you're using that Panasonic, people will tell you that's the problem in the first place. <laughs> but it's not. It's not. You know, but definitely go inside the community to kind of help you dial it up. will help. And Anna is here today, and she's saying hello to both of us. Thank you so very much for hanging out with us today. And uh, Kimberly is jumping on us and saying that, hey, uh, that's not her experience either. So everybody is talking to each other. So that's, that's great. Do we need to capture card if we're using a DSLR with a Mac computer? Uh, you know, good question. Uh, if you do have questions, again, I want to say this. I didn't say it in the beginning, and, and Paul will help me out th with this. Uh, Q colon and then your question but i'm getting right to what you're saying you don't have to use a capture card with a dslr camera you can use on most so canon uh let me say it this way i think canon and sony allow you to go in usb 
Okay, mm-hmm. so I don't know what other camera you may have, but uh, USB is a option with those. Now, if you want the best resolution, I'm going to tell you that the capture card is going to help you get a little bit of a better picture. Okay, so I do want you to, to do that. All right, and then Doc is giving us this. Alex, start with the iPhone in 4K mode. It is a great way to get started and to see what you are doing. And people are really talking to each other. Like, they're in the chats asking where Fulgens is, asking Anna where Fulgens is. He needs to come hang out with us as well, Anna. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and, Paul, thank you so very much for adding that. All right, so... Uh, everybody is want to kind of help people out. Like we have got this, Alex, you know, use what works best for you to start, uh, but start somewhere. And that's definitely what you want to do. All right. Most cameras work via USB, USB connects R720 or less. So you want to be mindful of that. I want to tell you this. I started a long time with that, uh, USB going in with my, um, Canon SL3, going in USB, it was the best way for me to start. That was 100 to be honest with you. When I started, Alex, that was $120 I could save not having a capture mm-hmm. card. Once I figured out that I could do it the right way, I went right ahead. And uh, let me tell you what really happened. And then we're going to get into these tutorials because I don't want to go too long without talking about these tutorials. So, Alex, get ready to actually share your screen, and we're going to go through Kajabi a little bit. But what I want to say is I actually bought a capture card through the pandemic, and they went from, like, $100 to, I mean, I think they were up to $400 because there was a shortage of it. They sold them all out. So, yes, I was one that resold my capture card. I'm sorry. I'm you know, overselling and all people were complaining about it, but you know, supply and demand is a real thing. It's called business, right? That's totally true. <laughs> so when, when the prices went down, guess what I did? I would have bought it <laughs> at the real price. So there you go. <laughs> Victoria's here. Um, and people are still talking. And Alex, man, you are everywhere. Love the last video on course creation. Keep it going. And we're going to keep, it going and um might as well go with this one michael does alex offer paid courses recording with ecamm live i do indeed yeah so the first one i made was the ecamm live masterclass i can drop some uh, links in for this but um uh yeah that was an, a course all about how to use um use ecamm live of course it was recorded with ecamm um i also then created the uh, zoom masterclass as well uh, that was all about how to uh, sort of level up with zoom uh, that one actually includes the ecamm masterclass as well so if somebody buys that one uh, they get the ecamm masterclass because i just think sort of zoom without ecamm is a bit pointless <laughs> um and then the, the one that i've released just recently is my rocaster Pro 2 Masterclass, because what I found with that, and this comes back to what you were talking about, about people having a uh, need. What I find with the Rocaster is there's lots of videos about how to use the Rocaster Pro 2. Um, but the place where I see people falling down is essentially on the um, the audio processing. So where there is advanced gotcha. audio processing, um, they don't really know how to, how to do that uh, or how to use it. So when you're using the compressor, for example, Um, what happens when you change some of the settings? Because there's a lot of settings that are sort of new to people. They may not have heard of them. And so, um, yeah, it's, that's the area I think where people sort of fall down with it. Um, and so I wanted to make something that covered all of that kind of uh, thing as well. Uh, so that's where, that's what, what those are. I can show you what those look like though, just so that you can understand from a, um, and while you, while you're uh, pulling that up, I'm going to move the screen here just a little bit so we can actually see what you're doing on your, um, on your screen. But I want to tell everybody, this is for you today. So I know I've been in the chats talking to you. I need you to lock in just a minute as we talk about uh, these master classes because the idea of you having a class is to help you monetize your content creation. We're talking about Ecamm. Uh, We're talking about using Ecamm with Zoom. We're talking about Alex uh, using uh, Rocaster Pro 2 and the tutorials that he's done you have knowledge, skills, and ability that you too could then record with Ecamm and actually pos- position on some type of platform to monetize the knowledge that you have. And Alex, I want to turn it over to you now. 
Um, so um, the, the other thing that I would say is about this is just to come back to what you were talking about is so many people are focused on uh, monetization on YouTube and right. are thinking about this, this, you know, this goal of getting to a thousand subscribers, as anyone will tell you <laughs> that even once you, uh, you get to that point, it's still a long, slow road before you're making any kind of reasonable sort of revenue uh, from that as well. Uh, whereas this is a way to actually, as I say, monetize the, uh, the, the information that you've got and put it in a structured format. And that's what people pay, pay for. I think it was on uh, one of Dot Rock streams and uh, Stephanie Liu, I think, said this, which was, you know, information is free, but people pay for organization. Uh, and that's what the courses are all about, giving people this sort of structured approach. So it's not an either or, it's not about suddenly putting everything behind a paywall. It's about having that structure for people who want to choose that option to go to get it, but still serving the community with the, you know, the, the, the stuff online as well. Can I so I just wanted testimony? to make that sort of... That, that. I get it. I <laughs> wanted to share this testimony really quick, and I apologize for cutting you off there, but I spent hours trying to set up my Rollcaster Pro, and Alex helped me set it up in minutes. I've uh, been in the game. Oh, thank you, Darison. Uh, my work. So thank you definitely for sharing that. And Alex, um, Doc has said something here as well, that you don't need to be an expert to share your knowledge. And I was talking off screen with you when we started. You want to give people space in your community. Uh, I do believe in order for you to learn, sometimes you, the best way to learn something is to teach it. So not that yep. you're an expert, but I'm teaching what I do know. And then as things change, guess what? You just add to what you've already done. That being said, let's dive in. Mm -hmm. Cool stuff. So um, I'll just show you what the sort of format of one of my courses looks like. Um, as an example, to sort of, so you can see what the, the, the overall sort of structure is, first of all. Uh, let me bring this one up. Where's it gone? There we go. Um, and so this is, uh, this is what my, uh, this is actually the Rodecaster course. Um, okay. I've got the Ecamm one. It'll look very similar. So I've just changed the sort of color on it, but I would just want you to notice that the actual look of them in terms of the structure is very similar. So I could pick either one of these really. I'll di dive into the Ecamm one, obviously. And, and on while you're panel. doing that, for people that know, he has two courses. He pressed a button and things really didn't move that much. And we're trying to, this shows you the simplicity that you can have with your landing page. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Continue. that's totally true. So, so here you can see that I've got this, uh, this course and I've, with any course, I think we, it's very easy to um, think I was having a chat with uh, actually with somebody who's in the in the chat today, just uh, yesterday, and they were talking about, well, for me, this thing seems easy. I don't think I've got a course out in what it is I'm trying to, uh, you know, I, that I was recommending to him that he could make a course out of. And he was saying, well, I don't think it's really a course because it didn't take me that long uh, to, you know, do whatever it is that you'd be trying to teach. But what right. people forget often is the vast knowledge and experience they've got from all of their, you know, working life, business life, and, ex you know, their experience that they're bringing to the table. And right. what to you might seem like a really simple, trivial thing that doesn't really take you much time or energy um, actually is something that other people are going to be struggling with. They've got no clue where to start. Um, and so everybody, I think, has got a course in them for something that to them feels like nothing <laughs> but they just do it all the time day in day out so that's the first thing is like when you're thinking about this don't think that you haven't got something that you know to offer i think everyone has um then it's just a case of sort of breaking these things down and really starting from first principles now in my ecam live masterclass uh, there's uh, 126 lessons in there at the moment, 26, 126 videos. Um, and that can be daunting for somebody if they're thinking like, oh, if I've got to make a class, does it have to be that many videos? Well, there's two points about that. First of all, it's 126 videos, but some of them are like a minute long because you want to make the course so that it is very uh, digestible for people. They don't want to necessarily come in and think, oh, in order to make a start on the next video, they've got to be thinking, oh, it's 40 minutes of time spent doing it. So having it broken down into short, little, Little, uh, snippets is much better from that point of view. So here I've got different sections. And if I come into this one, which is the basics, the basics of Ecamm, um, then you can see that it's just split down into, first of all, I've got this little subsection on overlays, introduction to overlays, camera overlays, image overlays. So I'm literally going through every different section of Ecamm in here, uh, breaking down exactly what those things are for. Um, but if I come into any one of these videos, you'll see that they're only um, like a couple of minutes long. So this one is five minutes. Okay, that's perhaps a little bit <laughs> longer than some of them. Um, so anything between one to five minutes, uh, some of them might be a little bit longer. But what that means is it's a little bit, um, it makes it easier for people to um, 
continue to watch them and binge watch them really, uh, right. which is not in your interest. It's not like you're on YouTube where you're getting metrics for how many people go on to watch the next video, uh, but it's in the uh, the students' interest because they can feel like, oh, I can just watch one more and it won't, it's not like they're committing a load of a load of time to it. The other thing though that makes it really beneficial to have these as small little short bite-sized videos is when somebody's wanting to come and look at something and I mentioned earlier about the Ecamm Masterclass. I want it to be like the the online encyclopedia where it's just got everything you need to know about Ecamm. Well there you can see that if you come into the overlay section and you just want to know how do I use widget overlays for example or text overlays you can just come in and click on the you know the one that you want to look at. If you want to dive into something more advanced you can come out from here and go into the uh, advanced use section and just dive into uh, some of those. So, uh, you know, doing more with overlays, doing more with scenes, all of these kinds of things. So having things broken down into these small bite-sized vid videos, uh, it makes it really, uh, really work well, I think, from a from a learning point of view. And then also people going in to sort of refresh their, uh, refresh their memories. For me as well, as the course creator, um, this with this uh, course you get lifetime access and I constantly update it in line with the latest updates from Ecamm. So as the course creator, this also makes it easy for me to go back in later on. There's been loads of updates to certain things related to overlay. So now I can just go and sort of swap out the videos that have been updated as well. So it makes it easier to sort of update um, going forward. So this is what this structure Hold on looks like. Second. Hold on one second, Alex. You can get to going, sir. And I absolutely love it. But I want to be sure people are getting all the points because I got stuck on the 106 videos. So okay. <laughs> I know you are extremely detailed and you have built mm -hmm. something off the detail that's in your mind. And this is a full course for someone. As you are getting started or as people are getting started that are watching this, Please don't go into it thinking that you're going to do 106 videos and have that monkey on your back. OK, <laughs> find ways to develop a digital course that, number one, answers a question and meets a need, but is also something to where you're giving all of the information that you have at this time. Don't overwhelm yourself. Uh, this is something that, I mean, Alex, as you can tell, like this is just one of his courses. This is what he does. So we're, we're showing you a professional list, all right? But I want you to be able to understand that you can start on your own level, okay? So I don't want that to scare anybody, but I'm just at awe and definitely excited for you, Alex, because this is a real skill that you have uh, dove into and is making a difference for you. I, and to add to that as well, um, this is a hundred and whatever videos because that's how many I felt I needed to explain what I wanted to explain. Um, your course may well be five videos, but what you've got to look at is what is the value that you're actually delivering to people. Right. And so, sorry, let me just come no, back no, to this No, 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 you're good, you're good. I, I should have changed, but go ahead. Okay, what, what is the value that you are actually delivering to people? Because at the end of the day, people are buying a course because they want to do something in a more efficient way than they're already doing it. They want to learn a new skill. They want to save themselves the time, uh, you know, that they would ordinarily have to go through to do it. Um, you might have a course that is literally five videos, but it is just, it gives somebody exactly what they need to be able to solve the problem that they've got and to save them far more than the course costs. And that is essentially what this should be. It's your, whatever your price point is, however, much you're charging for it you want to think that it is delivering far more value than that that to them so people come on my courses and use do my courses because they know that if they just go and do the course then they'll come out of it and be able to use that to either generate more income for themselves to save themselves more time or to get some specific result um so as i say that is just to say this the video the number of videos i did for ecamm was because the course the, because the software has that many features that needed to be explained um, you might be doing a course specifically about some other little niche uh, where you uh, you don't need to make that many videos to have a massive impact and somebody could be saving hundreds, thousands, tens of thousands of dollars or making hundreds, thousands or tens of thousands of dollars by just going on your uh, you know much shorter course. So don't get hung up on the number of videos for that reason as well. I, I like that. And, and Alex, you could go, and I always get stuck on some of the things that you say, and I'm, it's going over and over in my mind that you want to provide more value to the user, 
And mm-hmm. that's why that's one of the ideas behind you building a course. And of course, Ecamp has given tons of information that you can go over. But the idea is you wanted to bring more value. Can you dive into that for us just one more time about the idea if you are building a course, making a product or anything to be sure that the people are getting the most out of it? Well, yeah, I mean, that's that's. That that is the only reason to make a course. Uh, there will be some other people who have got other ideas, but at its core, that is the only reason that you should be making a course is to help people deliver value and for people to come away from it feeling like they have uh, they've got more value than they than you know they've got more out of it than they put into it from a financial and time perspective. You don't want people to waste their time on it. Uh, you don't want people to waste their money on it. They should come out feeling that they've they've gained time and money out of the the whole agreement from from their side um and yeah courses are a great way to do that and another course that i'm launching which is uh, around creating courses is my uh, kajabi masterclass and one of the great things about kajabi which I'll, i'll dive into how easy it is to use that in a moment but one of the great things about that as a platform is that they've got a a a great affiliate program. So I love Kajabi. Uh, That's what I use uh, and I recommend it. Um, But because they've got a really solid uh, affiliate program, just like Ecamm's got a really solid affiliate program as well, um, I can be in a position where I can say, right, well, if you sign up to Kajabi using my affiliate link, um, then you can get my Kajabi masterclass for free. Uh, Because I think that everyone can do this and everyone's got a course in them. It's just a case of perhaps needing that sort of guidance on the way. Um, And so with the uh, Kajabi uh, affiliate program and the uh, the referral scheme, we can give a month free of Kajabi, which is the time that you can use to get yourself set up and running. And in fact, with my Ecamm Live Masterclass, um, I uh, got that all set up, recorded all the videos, got them all lo- uploaded to Kajabi and was making money on Kajabi before I had even uh, actually paid them. So uh, you really can, like in a, in a month, uh, with a bit of planning and guidance, get yourself up and running and launch the course before uh, before your free trial is even up. Uh, and so with my Kajabi Masterclass, hold, hold on, that's hold the way on, I'm going to be doing it. Hold, hold, I'm, I'm sorry to interrupt you, but you, you give so much information and it's rude <laughs> for me to stop you. And I do apologize. Um, the dirty American over here in me stopping you from saying this, but I really want what you just said to settle in for everybody. Okay, I want to slow that part down that you are helping people through Kajabi, learning how to use it. And in your program, you're allowing them to have it for a month free for them to be able to pay for the program and to pay for Kajabi. Am I saying that right? Yeah, but in actual fact, go go right ahead. So so basically on the Kajabi um, uh, affiliate program, I'll be making recurring revenue on that in any case. So right. it's in my interest to get people up and running to the point where they're ready to actually continue with the page trial, uh, you know, after the free trial of Kajabi is done, uh, that they can continue then to pay for Kajabi. Um, and so I'll get paid out of that. If I've done my job correctly and educated and given people all the information that they need to launch their, their course and that they're, they're making money on Kajabi, then that's the way that I'll end up getting paid. I don't need to get paid by somebody else having to pay for the education up front in that respect. And then we all know that where the motivations are, I'm motivated for uh, the student's success. success. Yeah. I love it. I love it. I just want to stay yeah. right there just for a second. Hey, do they get a, uh, a certification when they're done with the full thing? So that's a quick little joke here. Um, let me see. So James is like, hey, are you whole watching? Getting value? Uh, there's only like 15 likes. Come on, fam. So definitely hit the like button. We're up to about 19 right now. And uh, I do have a question from Rich. Rich said, do you have any hot takes about posting courses on Skillshare or Teachable? And, of course, we talked about Kajabi, but do you know anything about those other platforms? Um, I've always done it on my own platform. When I say my own platforms, I mean, it's ones where it's not, I'm not giving any commission to anyone else. So I've, I haven't actually used any other ones. I know there are other platforms out there where you've essentially, the, one of the benefits to using a platform like those is you've got people who are on those platforms already. Uh, and so your courses are getting presented to those audiences, which is, you know, that's fine. That is a, a great way of, uh, of, of doing it as well. Um, but I just prefer to do things on on the platform where I'm in full control of the the content, uh, that's not necessarily to say that's the right way of doing it. That's just the way that uh, the way that I do it. 
Um, I have used multiple platforms before. Um, so one of the businesses that I'm involved in is a um, social media advertising and marketing company. Uh, and that's in fact what I was making the original course for that got me into Ecamm. Um, but for that, we used to use uh, click funnels for our sales funnels. We used to use uh, Wistia, which is a video hosting platform to host the videos that were then as part of the course on click funnels. We would have uh, either WordPress or Squarespace for the website. Uh, we would then have something like Active Campaign to manage the email marketing. Uh, we'd then be using something like Zapier to link all of these disparate services together. Um, and one thing about Kajabi that has just been game changing is the fact that it's everything in one place. They use Wistia for their video back end. Um, it's got all of the email marketing side of it built in as well. It's the course hosting. It's got an arguably far better funnel building capability than even click funnels. And you would think, well, click funnels is just purely funnel building, but actually the way that it's implemented in Kajabi, I feel is better. Um, and there's something to be said for having everything all in one place. It just makes everything sort of seamless. The other thing that's great about uh, Kajabi is they do have an affiliate program. So I've got my own affiliate program for my courses, which means that um, as well as, you know, some people might think, oh, well, I haven't got a big enough um, audience to sort of launch a course. Um, well, actually, if you can have an affiliate program, so I give 30% commission on anyone who is, you know, shares out my, my courses, uh, and it's easy to sign up to my affiliate program from the web, from my website. You just put in your name, email address, and uh, PayPal, uh, create a password, obviously, uh, and then that's it. You can be sharing out links and generating revenue that way. So uh, a lot of my uh, you know courses have been sold through other people's communities and other people's reach. So you don't have to feel that you've got the whole of the, um, uh, you know, it, it's just going to be going out to your audience and your own personal reach, if you like. Um, so that's another benefit to it. But I've just found that it has been, um, yeah, really good to have everything all in one place. So that's a bit of a long winded answer to say, no, I haven't used Skillshare, but I like having it yeah, being in more control of it and the distribution of it on my on my side. Well, definitely saying why it makes a difference. And that being said, I have to shout out uh, <laughs> our Bishop Donald Oliver for hanging out with us today. I hadn't talked to you in a while, sir, but thank you for coming and being a part of what we're doing today. We have a lot to talk about. Uh, Michelle just uh, joined in with us. Thank you so very much for coming out. And uh, I agree. I prefer my own platform. I tried Kajabi, but didn't like the page builder. So I built my own course on WordPress using Learn Dash. Okay, I get it. So, uh -huh. you know, there's mm -hmm. so many different ways to do it. And and actually, Alex, we started the show today, and I said exactly that. We want to talk about Kajabi, but listen, there is WordPress, there is uh, Squarespace, there's Wix. There are websites or web builder sites where you can do your own courses inside of mm -hmm. your own web page and make it yep. really simple. Whether it's a PayPal donation, like there's ways to get paid through all of this uh, outside of Kajabi. Now, um, I'm not sharing a link with Kajabi today. Every link that you see is actually going to Alex's training course and all of the things that you have. Support what he's doing. Anybody that has sat more than once and done a hundred videos gets all the respect from me. Now, <laughs> I might do a hundred videos. Uh, I might have done a hundred, but I hadn't counted in a while. I haven't counted in a while. Maybe I got a hundred mm -hmm. reels already. I got tons of them, but that is outstanding that you're able to do this. And it's a way to monetize your knowledge and your content. My hat is mm -hmm. off to you and everybody that's watching today and you're thinking about building a course, you're thinking about finding ways outside of TikTok and Instagram, Facebook and uh, YouTube partner program to garner some type of money for yourself in the time that you're spending in, in doing all this streaming stuff. Building a course is an excellent way to do it, okay? Mm -hmm. Now, uh, you can start. Alex has already talked about how you can start small. Let me do this because he said it, and I want to be sure I put it up because uh, this is somebody that I follow, that I love his content. I love the fact that he's growing. He's growing right in front of us. But Doc Rock says, I signed up for Kajabi last Sunday on Alex Affiliate Link. So shouts out to you again. I launched my course the day after less than 48 hours from him signing up, sold over 20 slots, I got one, and paid for Kajabi for a full year in three hours yep that number is so one, common <laughs> number one doc is the man 
and uh, mm -hmm. you know he has an audience to be able to do that. And uh, anybody that is trying to do shows like my show, where you're interviewing people, he's going. His master class is about interviewing and how the art of interviewing. Okay, master class on interviewing. Take the class, support them. Like you missed out on the first twenty. Whatever the next phase that he's doing, however much that costs, sign up for it. Okay, sign up for it. It's going to make a difference in how you present on air and to be able to uh, sit and listen to what he's saying to help you along the way is an investment in yourself. Okay, it's an investment in yourself. You want to be able to do that. It's an investment in yourself with Alex if you are using Ecamm and you haven't figured it all out yet. Guess what? Paying whatever the price is for the course, what the courses do for people is to reduce the amount of time that it takes for them to get prof proficient in whatever the skill that is. Think of it that way. They're paying to save time. Oh, well, my course is mm -hmm. just stuff that I've learned. Everybody talks about this. Yes, there are more than one Ecamm masterclass out there. Trust me, there's tons of classes. There's tons of things you can get for free, but maybe there's a way that the guy from Thailand actually presents this or the way he has his library of content set up for you that's easy for you to peruse to get to what you need to get to. It's all there. That's, that's what I wanted to add to it all. And I know that we just show Ecamm. Do you want to go through uh, your Rodecaster Pro 2 just so people to see that again as well? Yeah, well, what I'll do is I'll show you the uh, the structure of the course because it's it's very similar to the structure of the Ecamm one, and then maybe just take a quick look at the Kajabi backend just to show that because like, I think this is one of the things that people get stuck on is you know oh I don't know how to use the platform you know and right. that's the, the the limitation there. So if you just recall that we just looked at this Ecamm course and it was different sections with different videos, uh, well in the Rocaster course it looks virtually the same except I've just changed the uh, the colors up for this. Um, and if we go into like this one, so advanced audio processing, this was really the the driver behind me creating this was because I felt like people didn't understand compressors, uh, you know, and all the different terms like threshold, compression ratio, uh, gain, attack, and release. I've been through and explained all of those. Now, this is one of the few where I've actually done things like, um, so for example, in here, if I just load up this video, uh, and then you can see how it sort of plays in here. Um, but one of the things I did in here was, you know, I've actually created some slides that demonstrate the whole sort of, whoops, the uh, actual, um, uh, sort of theory behind all of this. So I'm tying it back to the Rocaster on the uh, the video there, uh, but also I have got the sort of theory behind what's going on from an audio perspective. But this is about as complex as I've got in my uh, videos for the course um, in terms of the delivery. Most of the delivery is just more like a sort of, you know, talking head, me explaining it as if I was sitting down in front of you talking about uh, whatever it happened to be. Um, and then, you know, maybe tutorials about sharing the screen, uh, all of which you can do in Ecamm. So in this case, this was created in Ecamm where I had created some slides in Keynote, um, but then I'd got a, uh, a screen share overlay and a camera overlay there with uh, me sort of talking, explaining what's going on in in this chart. So this was to demonstrate, um, as I say, compression as it happens in this case, uh, but all very easy to do in Ecamm. Uh, and the way that I do these is I've just got a, a sort of course outline, and then I sit down and just record them one after another, pressing record on Ecamm. Uh, when it's finished, start a recording again, pre uh, record another one, all of them in one take. I don't do any editing just as I don't on my uh, channel as well. Um, but then in the back end of Kajabi, if we come and have a look at what that looks like, um, so this is the Rocaster Pro 2 Masterclass in Kajabi. Um, you don't have to go through and like format all of these things each and every time you want to add new content or a new video. Um, it would just be a case of in here, we've got a series of folders. These represent all of those different sections. So the getting started section, setting up the mixer. That one that we were just looking at was this advanced audio processing section. If I click this little down arrow here, uh, then here is where we've got all of the videos. If I wanted to add a new video in here, just click on add content. Uh, and you can either add either a sub module, which is where you want sort of subheadings within the section. So a bit like when I looked at the overlays one for Ecamm earlier, uh, you could see I'd sort of broken it down into subheadings, uh, but you can also add quizzes as well. So if you want people to be uh, tested as they go through, or you maybe just wanna get feedback from them, you can do it that way. Uh, you can also set these so that the next lesson will only open up if they've passed a test. That would be another thing to consider. You may or may not want to do that. I don't personally do that, but because some people might want to only dive into a specific section. Uh, but if you click on here to create a new lesson, uh, we'll just give it a new title. 
uh, and I'll show you uh, how easy it is to actually just upload your stuff. So I've created a uh, random uh, thing here, just click in edit. And then here I can either upload a video or audio. You can add a thumbnail to it. Uh, and then you've got this text box down here where you can add any description. Uh, you can also add downloads as well. So if you want to upload any files that are related to that video that people can download, uh, you just uh, you can add those in. You've like also got automation or, or, or uh, Adobe documents yeah. or anything like that. Yeah, so like if you've got a PDF that accompanies PDF, the video uh -huh. or something like that, or you've got a text document or you've got an outline or a template. With the Ecamm course, uh, I've got an overlay template that I use to help people lay out their scenes. So on one of the lessons in the Ecamm course, there, you know, you can download that and it's a PNG that they drag into Ecamm. Uh, so, uh, so yeah, that's, that's you know, anything that you want people to be able to download, you can have them do that. Uh, and then there's also automation. So you might want it to be that once they've got to a certain section, uh, it fires off an email to them, or, you know, it might be you're talking about some specific offer you've got now that they've reached that point. And so they get an email with, you know, some coupon code or, uh, you know, whatever it happens to be, you can add those sorts of automations in, or maybe opens up another course to them, whatever it happens to be. But I find Kajabi really easy to sort of, once you've, uh, tweet the style of it and by the way the the overall style of my things it's just a, a kajabi template i haven't gone out of my way to create anything specific but what i have done is i've just changed up you know the sort of graphics uh, so this is obviously the rodecaster pro 2 masterclass right. logo here um, and i've changed the colors down here uh, here you can see where people can actually on the course they can sign up to become an affiliate as well to start earning that 30 percent commission from referrals for my courses um, and then also I've got a way for people to put con uh, consultations there as well. Uh, but all of this looks exactly the same on both of them. And that's because I'm just using the stock template. I've just gone and tweaked the colors and things like that. Um, right. And then to just upload those videos, uh, as we've just seen, it's really easy to just go and drop those in uh, and just sort of build out the course. So once you've got the template set up, it's very easy to actually build this out. Uh, and then you would obviously, like here on my, my website, uh, you can see just all the, the courses are just listed up there. So, so it's so uh, these it, are the three that you have right now. The Zoom course. Yeah, yeah. The, okay, the master class. That's excellent. Uh -huh. That's excellent. And then on the, the Kajabi side, so you can see right at the top there, we've got a banner for um, the uh, Kajabi. This was previously where it was just purely for my Kajabi link, where I recommend Kajabi. Uh, but now I've got this uh, yeah free Kajabi masterclass. Uh, if you sign up using my link, then you can get free access to the masterclass. Otherwise, it will be, you know, if somebody is already on Kajabi and they just want to, uh, a refresher or they want to learn how to use it, maybe they've been on it for a while and not monetizing it, uh, then there will be a price associated with this as well. But my whole thing is I want to take people who have got a course inside them, but there's been something that's holding them back, stopping them from doing it. Um, and then just within the month free trial, Let's get the course up and running and launched and you'll be making money on it before you have to pay Kajabi anything and you will never have to pay me anything because I'll be just on the affiliate commission from you having signed up. So I'm totally motivated to make sure that by the end of that month, you're up and running and, and ready to go. When are you starting this? Uh, so that will be in December. So I'm just in the process of getting everything together because I thought, well, it's a great time for people to start right. doing it. I'll do it on a, it will be a cohort based uh, course because uh, obviously, you know, I don't want it to just be people sitting there with access to a course that they're not using. So right. whilst all of my other courses are um, sort of learn at your own pace online courses, um, for this, I think it's definitely worth having it as a cohort based course where you get access uh, to me, I'm there to help you, I'm there to advise you uh, and get it all up and running. So it'll be running in December, but then I'll be running at sort of multiple times as well, depending on when people are ready to get uh, to get up and running with, uh, with, with Kajabi and with their, with their course as well. And th there's an interesting thing there to think about as well, uh, just to digress into that difference between a pre-recorded course and a cohort-based course. So, um, and Doc mentioned about launching his one. So obviously what he's done is he's launched a course that he's going to be delivering in January. Right. Um, and so there is a sort of a, a launch that's gone on there. He obviously has got all of the knowledge, all of the experience. He knows he's going to be able to deliver that to the cohort that's coming in uh, in, um, in January. So he hasn't he hasn't and you don't necessarily have to go through the process of creating you know all of the video content up front because you're just getting people on board to the course that's happening you know at some point in the future in any case so and there are there are pros and cons to cohort courses um versus online uh, right. i know that there's lots of people who have signed up to my courses who still haven't actually started it even though they signed up months ago right. because they've signed up for it, they've got lifetime access. And so there is potential there for people to think, well, it's not pressing, it's not urgent, because they've paid for it, they've got lifetime access, and they'll get around to it. 
whereas a cohort course is at a specific time and they have they you know they they've got to get the results in that time and they've got to do it then so from a learning point of view there can be that benefit to a cohort course where there's that urgency about it um, but then on the other, other flip side of that is some people might not be available at the time for the cohort course. And so for them, it may work better to have it on demand where they can just learn what they want. Um, another thing that I have found from my analytics, looking at my, the people who have done my uh, Ecamm course and Zoom and uh, Rodecaster course, some people pay for the course, but really they just want one section like the Rodecaster. There's lots of people who don't need all of the basics of how do I set up the Rodecaster, but they've got no clue how to set up noise gate, compressor and all of these right. kind of things. And so they buy the course, they watch the advanced section, and then they don't watch anything else. And they maybe just come and refresh the advanced section every so often. Whereas with a cohort course, if you're guiding people through from total beginner to, you know, expert, um, there might be people who feel like, well, I'm not really a beginner, I don't need to join that. So that's another thing to think about with the difference between cohort and pre recorded. So let's do this really quick. You didn't know I was going to do this and we can talk offline about the details, but I want to know while we talk a little more and wrap this up, I have some things in the comments I want to do. If you are watching this right now, you are a Ecamm user. I did see somebody else saying that she loves learning Ecamm. You are in the process of learning all the details about Ecamm and you could use the benefit of Alex. Uh, of his master class for Ecamm, I need to know in the comments. I want to know how many people are watching today that could use this master class. And if we see enough of a need, guess what? DJ Strick, compliments of the stream show are going to allow, I'm going to get a class from Alex just for you. But I have to know that you need it. So I just want to randomly say, hey, if somebody wants to do it, I need to know there's a need and we're going to give away one today. So Alex, we'll talk the details afterwards, but I want to give some away. If there's somebody out there that really needs it. That being said, Aubrey showed up today. Hey, how are you doing? Thanks for coming through. Uh, I have um, a couple of things I want to talk about. And Alex, if you had something you want to say, uh, Michelle is like, hey, how do you feel about dropping out videos for cohorts? And you, we talked about that. Would you release all of them or not? So if that go ahead yeah so, so that is where you've got um a cohort course where there is video content associated with it um what you'll find is that uh, if it's say over i don't know five days two weeks a month whatever it happens to be uh, there'll always be some people who say oh well can i just get access to the day five six seven or ten videos right now because i've done those ones i just want to move on i actually think that it's better with a cohort course to drip the content out at the same pace so that everyone is at exactly the same level and some people may um may you know ask for the the extra videos but i always think it's better to just drip them out at the same the pace that everyone is going so that everyone is on the same page now after the fact you know usually they would have access to all of those videos afterwards so they would get you know ongoing lifetime access to all of the, the material they can watch it again but certainly for when you're trying to lead people through all together as a group um it would be a bit like in a school you know if you go ahead and just teach a load of the uh, the kids all of the content like in advance, you know, and so they're at a different level. You want people to be at that same level or have the same information. So I would say do continue to drip those videos out and let, you know, I'm not talking about the, you know, the ones that you have in the run up to the cohort course starting where there's like, this is information you should need that stuff. There's no, no problem. But whilst people are on a cohort course, if there's information that they need as they, it goes along, they should all get that at the same time, I believe. I love it. Thank you for answering that question. And we got a couple of people that says, yeah, they were needed. So this is what I want to do. I want to wrap this up really quick and I'm going to wrap this up. I'm going to wait for a few more people to say again, if you're using Ecamm and you could use the benefit of the masterclass that Alex has, I need to know how many people could use that. And we're going to give one away today from somebody in the comments. That being said, Miss um, Hill asked Doc, does he has a link for his for his uh, cohort, and uh, of course he does. <laughs> so he put, I think Paul helped us out and actually put the link in, so I want to shout him out, Create Better that Life. That's uh, Doc's uh, new cohort for interviewing, so we talked about that. We want to support what, what he's doing, and um, let me see what else I have in here. Okay. I love access to Ecamm Live Masterclass. Hey, guys. Um, and some people say hello. There you go. So this is what I want to do. And Equip Institute said yes. So this is what I want to do. Um, 
Alec, you can see the comments just as well as I can. Like in your mind, as you're going through people that have may have response, responded to, yeah, I could use this. If you just want to pick somebody, we'll work out the details of getting them, the uh, between the two of us, getting them access to your master class. Oh, that's uh, that's harsh. I can't pick somebody out of there for sure. <laughs> I mean, I don't, I I don't mind doing right. it. I'm, I'm really like, uh, I'm on it. I don't mind doing it. I don't want to put you on the spot. but Go on, go on you do, because I, okay, okay, I don't want to so, pick. I don't so, pick. So, so I'll do it this way. This is like the coolest thing in the world. Everybody that's watching, um, I'm going to put it in the chat. So there's a private chat that you could use with Ecamm, if I can get over to it, uh, for you and me. Uh -huh. where, where, where am I finding this here? Um, I want to tell you what my number is. That's everybody's chat. Where's the chat between you and me? It's in the, in the interview panel. Yeah, I'm, I'm, it, there it is. And this is what I want to do. Not only does he uh, know the stuff, <laughs> not only does he know... Like, not only did he make the tutorial, he's, he still knows the information because I, <laughs> I know there's a chat, but where it is, I don't know. So I'm putting a number in, and this is a number between, yeah, it went the right way. Can you see it there? Yeah, yeah. I, so this I is what we yeah, want to yeah. do. This is what we want to do real quick. So we're going to give it away. So I, I need for you guys to type in a number between 1 and 20. Yes, this is better than Powerball. Yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> Christmas is coming early. So here we go. Uh, a number between, uh, yes, you would love an opportunity to get it. Number between 1 and 20, whoever gets closest to the number, and my accountability partner, Alex, here knows what it is, we're going to give you an opportunity to get this class. Oh, okay, so we got one already. 17. We got six. We got 15. We're giving you a chance to do this. While we're doing that, Alex, can you just go down really quick uh, what they would be getting in this master class, like just some of the quick details of it? Yeah, so the Ecamm Masterclass, it basically everything from beginner through to advanced of all things Ecamm. It does not just cover Ecamm, though. So it talks about uh, Stream Deck because uh, obviously uh, a Stream Deck is the ideal uh, companion for a uh, uh, for Ecamm. And so I talk all about how to set that up, all about how to uh, use your um, uh, whatever software you've got, like PowerPoint, Keynote, or things like that to actually create your own icons. So I talk about that. So it's all these kind of things that are adjacent to uh, Ecamm in many respects. I also talk about how to use Ecamm with uh, presentation software as well, um, so that you can sort of level up your presentation game and then take that into things like Teams, Discord, and Zoom. So if you're totally fine with Zoom and you just want to know how to use Ecamm with it, then this course sort of covers all of that as well. I also talk about some of the other software and tools um, that you can use with Ecamm as well. And then there's a bit in there about my sort of one take video production process and sort of on screen uh, confidence skills and those kind of things. So really it is. I always think that there's a lot of people out there who use the word masterclass when really what they've got is a beginner's guide. Uh, but I do truly believe that this is a, a true masterclass. Come in knowing nothing, leave having mastered uh, Ecamm uh, and using all of the features to its full effect. So that's what I would uh, I would say to that. <laughs> it's uh, um... yeah, everything everything you need to know. That that is so glad I, you you say like you you talk so fast for me like there's so much behind <laughs> what you say like Alex I really appreciate your ability to be able to communicate the way you do because it helps people in their journey and I will say this you get a benefit from us in the states because anything someone says with a British accent guess what we believe. It. <laughs> We believe it. So that being said, I have, we had to do a runoff really quick. So Silver, let me see if I can get it to uh, Silver Head Fitness. And Michael here, you guys got to pick again. I need a new number and I'm going to go, go ahead, Alex. And, uh, and DJ right on beat as well. I'll tell you what, there's, there's three of them all within one, so they, can, they okay. can all have it. It's no it's no problem. I'll, they can each have it. <laughs> wow. Wow. I didn't expect that. No problem at all. You know, I, I, I was being quiet because sometimes you just have to let that sit in. <laughs> 
sometimes you just I, have to like when somebody's being generous. So I didn't see DJ right on there. Yes. He said, yeah, he got four as well. The master plays. Okay. So, so, so the number between all of us, um, well, there's another person here that's within uh business growth ready. Yeah. That's uh, that's Michael in the UK. Gotcha. It's, so, uh, it's him. And then, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Michael here. So Michael here, here we go. This Michael was in by a number uh silver let me see where did she go dj right old beat right on beat that's one and then silverhead fitness here okay there we go cool so, so anyone anyone with uh <laughs> four or six is cool because <laughs> so the number was five so the number was five between the two of us this is yeah. awesome. And I'm so thankful that you're willing to go over and beyond giving as you know, you have the opportunity to be on the stream show. That being no said, uh, if you guys can inbox me, Facebook is probably the best way at DJ Strick. Give me all your contact me on Facebook. Give me your details and I'll get you the credentials that you need to be able to get to this master class. OK, so that's DJ right on beat Silverhead Fitness. And Michael from the UK, let me see what's Michael's last name, Business Growth Ready. Okay, Business Growth Ready, if you can just get with me. And uh, again, that's DJ, DJ Strick on uh, Facebook or at Strick City on Instagram. So I give you two inboxes you can get to, get to me so I can give you the credentials that you need to be able to get this masterclass, EKM masterclass from Alex Johnson. Like you have blown my mind today, sir. Uh, oh, not no only <laughs> have you done a great job of helping the community by doing the work. All right. So I'm going to get on my doc soapbox. You know, you got to do the work. You have definitely done the work. And now you're coming back in the community and helping us understand the work that it takes, how easy it could be done. I say easy. It takes work to do 100 plus videos. <laughs> but with the software we have with Ecamm, you're able to do it in a very efficient way. If you can sit in, uh, sit in there long enough or do something that you like, talk about something that you like, that you're skilled at and that meets a need, you're right where you need to be. Right where you need to be. So there you go. Thank you so very much, everybody that's hanging out with us today. Any parting words or any ways that people can get to you again uh, for what you're doing? Uh, yeah, I'll just sort of build on what you've just said there as well and what you said earlier, which was about, you know, teaching is one of the best ways to learn things. And so part of the reason why I mentioned that, you know, the Ecamm stuff and the stream that I made most of my videos about, it was because of the, it was the things that I was learning myself the most. Uh, and so I'd learn something and want to share it and learn something and share it. So it's not like, you know, I was just an Ecamm expert. <laughs> I've done, only done that by and and creating the videos. Uh, but apart from that, uh, you know, sort of to find me, you can find me at takeonetech.io and that's where I've got links to all the stuff. Uh, and you can find my, all my courses there. There's a banner at the top if you want to get access to that free Kajabi masterclass as well. Um, then, um, then that's, you know, that's something that I'm doing as a cohort course. So you can find that over there as well. And You'll see me in the ecom community, of course. <laughs> Alex, thank you so very much for hanging out with me. We got to do this again at some point as you're building out the classes. When you get started with your cohort class, let's just talk about mm -hmm. it, get people involved with what you're doing. I really do feel like uh, you are a great teacher. And more importantly, you already kind of paved the way for us as far as these courses go. So I'm hoping that we inspired somebody today to go just a step further in whatever it is courses that you're creating so you can monetize what you're doing. So again, thank everybody for hanging out with us today. And uh, I will see you not Yeah. So Sunday nights, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Look for me. Holidays are coming up. We're going to do as many shows as we could do and imbibe you in them. So everybody, thank you for joining us tonight. Hey, this is DJ Strick, and I would like to thank you for watching another edition of The Stream Show.